Mr. Barry Trower, it's a fantastic pleasure to be here. It has been quite a complicated travel coming here actually, but it's very, very nice to be here and it's very important what we're going to discuss and what you have to say. So thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, it's my pleasure, sir. My pleasure. During the last few years I've been thinking a lot about Shakespeare. He wrote in Prince Hamlet that there's something rotten in the state of Denmark. And of course it's in the state of the world. Something is very terrible wrong. And then we have this former leading scientist in Denmark called Jeanette Kui. She used to, to teach at Aarhus University. And she got the message from the National Health Board in Denmark that she was allowed to say everything but that microwaves are dangerous. And that leads me to you. Later on I talked to her and she told me that she believed that the Danes are part of an experiment to be brainwashed by the use of microwaves and now they believe that they are the most happy people in the world, the Danes. I would like to know from you about children because children I think is the most uh, precious we've got, it's the future. And I would like to start this interview about we need the parents to realize how dangerous this really is because it seems like most have not got it yet. Right. <clears throat> this is going to be a big answer. It's okay. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> I had an appointment with one of our ministers. Uh, he's the Minister for Schools. And he wanted me, this was concerning Wi-Fi in schools and its effect on children. And I'm sorry, I'm a slow speaker, I'm afraid we're going to use a lot of taper. Uh, I speak very slowly. <clears throat> so the minister wanted me to take something to him that wasn't complicated, uh, wasn't more than two or three sides of paper that explained everything. And I thought about this <clears throat> and in the end I did a cartoon, in this cartoon, and I think this is the most relevant piece of paper, not because I've written it, but because it actually refers to every single child in the world and I think that the ministers, the minister I spoke to was quite shocked. Uh, now <clears throat> what I'm explaining in this, what I'm explaining that there are two different things with schools. Okay? Now the first is if you have uh, a school child, could you imagine if you have, let's say you have a little girl and I'm talking about girls at the moment, that there is a case for boys, but it, it's different. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, if you have a little girl in school, let's say 10 years old, all of her eggs that are to be fertilised are in her body. If she sits with Wi-Fi in front of her, the Wi-Fi is going through the eggs. And what most scientists do not know, and certainly government officials do not know, is that the DNA in these eggs can absorb 10 times more radiation than other DNA in the body. So even if you have a safety level, which there isn't for children anyway, even if you have a safety level, it is ten times out, straight away. So you are irradiating the eggs inside your little girl. Now what that means is if your little girl has DNA damage and it is likely, we know in the Cold War uh, women were experimented on deliberately to see the effect of low-level microwave on pregnant women. <clears throat> and we know that 47.7% of the women had miscarriages uh, in the first eight weeks of pregnancy. So, and there are lots of experiments, so we do know 
that these eggs absorb radiation. <clears throat> now, if your little girl has DNA damage, when she grows up and has a baby, if that baby is a little girl, the genetic damage will come out in that little girl, any genetic damage. When she has a baby, your grandchild, the genetic damage will be there because it is irreparable. It can never, ever be repaired. <clears throat> so what we are doing with our children in primary school is we are saying every single daughter that you have could have genetic disease until there is no more female line. So it's not just the children today, it is their children, their children, their children. It's going to go on forever. Uh, and we're risking this all because we don't want to buy a piece of wire about that long and plug it into the wall. That's what we're risking. But that's only the first stage. <clears throat> now, I've been a teacher for many, many years, adults uh, and sixth form, you know, pre-university. And I have had students which are pregnant. And it is legal in this country for 16-year-old girls to be pregnant. The age of sexual content, uh, consent is 16. In fact, I've taught girls 15 and 14 who've even been pregnant. Now, the next phase of this drawing comes when if you have, let's say your daughter is pregnant. Now, the, if you can imagine your daughter is pregnant and inside the fetus of your daughter, which will be your grandchild, inside that fetus, the eggs are forming if it is a little girl because they are born with all of their eggs. So the eggs are forming. And in the first 100 days, your grandchild's eggs are forming. But for the first maybe 50 days, your daughter probably would not know she was pregnant. She wouldn't take any precautions. But also for the first 100 days, and this is, again is what the scientists don't realize, <clears throat> is in the fetus or the embryo there is no defense mechanism in the body in the baby to protect it from radiation you have defense mechanisms of uh, protein 53 nuclear core complex and that help fight radiation antioxidants uh, the embryo doesn't have any of those. So what you are doing, if somebody is pregnant, you are irradiating a person who has no defense against microwaves. And again, a lot of people don't realize that when we are in that first 56 days, we are inside out. The, our organs are on the outside of the body because at a stage later on after 100 days or so we actually turn inside out again so the skin is on the outside so you have the organs on the outside and they are taking all of the radiation and all of the damage and this then will make the baby uh, or could make the baby quite genetically damaged with other damage as well, brain damage, cellular damage, whatever damage. And it's not until that fetus is born and then grows up and has another baby that you may get that. So what we're doing here is we're, we are really destroying many successive generations now uh, just by having Wi-Fi in schools. And it doesn't stop there. With children, now, there are, uh, in, in you, 
you have about uh, four and a half thousand different biological structures making your body. Children have about 4,050 making their body. Now, <clears throat> children are not small adults. They are neurologically and physiologically immature. They have very little defense pain. Just to give you an idea, <clears throat> the blood-brain barrier that protects the brain from toxins. In a child, that takes around 18 months to form. The nervous system, the nervous system in the body uh, that controls all of our muscles, all of our movement, everything, that takes around 22 years to form properly. <clears throat> there are 122 different layers, if you like, of insulation around the wiring in the body <clears throat> that take 22 years. And it is known, it's, it's laid down by a process called protein synthesis. And protein synthesis is known to be affected by microwaves. The immune system takes around 18 years to develop in a child and again it is known that the first symptom of microwave uh, syndrome is an attack on the uh, attack on the immune system so what we are really doing by unregulating or deregulating or having no regulation for microwaves, we are really putting a very, very great risk on every single generation. And if it were just me sitting here and nobody else in the world agreed, I might think, well, maybe I'm wrong. But in just the last few months, uh, we know the, what I said to you about pregnancy and childbirth, we know that is right because there are mammalian species cats, dogs, mice, rabbits <clears throat> there are mammalian species who do not take 20 years to have a generation they can do it in one year or two years and vets have already started publishing papers about uh, birth defects, lots of different birth defects, miscarriages, all sorts of problems with birth and they specifically publish this is due to low level radiation from microwaves. So we know it started happening with the animal kingdom. We know just in the last few months there is a 3,000% increase in cancers in children in China, a 21% increase that has been found in brain tumours, I think across Australia. Uh, there are several published papers now, <clears throat> and I think the most frightening is from the Russian National Radiation Committee with UNICEF, which is the children's charity. <clears throat> 